item. So today I'm going to be doing a demo and a wear test on the new e.l.f. Hydrating Camo, oh, I'm sorry, Camo Hydrating CC Cream. This is full coverage, long lasting, dewy finish. It's got tremella mushroom and hyaluronic acid, and it does have SPF 30 in it. I'm gonna be putting it on my face, and then I'm gonna be coming back throughout the day, and we're gonna check in and see how it wears on my oily skin. Now, my skin is not as oily as usual because I've started Tret, and it's still kind of adjusting to that. It's also winter, so it does get a little drier in the winter. Oh my God, this hair. It's $15, which I have to be honest, I think for e.l.f. it's kind of a lot. Don't you guys think? $15 for a foundation from e.l.f. just seems a little up there for a drugstore foundation, especially because e.l.f. is so affordable. So the, the price was a little bit like, oh, okay. You know, it's just a little higher than what I would expect e.l.f. to be. I feel like e.l.f. is usually like around... I don't know, I just expected it to be like 11, maybe 10 or $11. So it is $15, obviously a lot cheaper than if you were to buy a high end, but it is $15. So, you know, it's on the, I think it's on the higher end for e.l.f. as far as price goes. There's 30 shades of this all together. I got the color 370N, medium with neutral olive undertones. So um, the color was perfect for me. So if you guys are someone who self tans, I have a fresh self tan, tan on right now and the color was actually gorge. I did find it a little bit difficult in store. I actually got mine in store. I found the colors to be a little bit of an interesting range. A lot of them that were like in the medium range were very yellow. So I did find the colors to be just a little bit difficult to try and figure out. I was kind of umming and aahing between the 415C and the 370N. Very glad I got the 370N because I feel like the 415 would have been way too dark. So the color turned out to be beautiful. It matches really well. It looks gorgeous. It blends in super well. But when you look at them in store, just be warned, they are a little tricky to try and figure out what color you're gonna be. So this says it's a long lasting color correcting camo hydrating CC cream. Delivers the full coverage you crave while moisturizing skin for a smooth glowy finish. It's infused with vitamin B5 plus tremella mushroom hyaluronic acid and broad spectrum SPF 30 to help protect the skin, the skin from the sun. So it does have um, the SPF. There's a slight hint of a smell of sunscreen, but it's not overwhelming. Like, you know how some sunscreens are like, oh, I hate that, I can't put it on my face. It does not smell that strong, but there is a, like, I would say if there's any scent, it's a tiny, weenie hint of a sunscreen scent, but not bad. So this is supposed to hydrate skin for a dewy finish. It's supposed to help plump your skin's appearance. It's supposed to um, be good for dry, oily, and combination skin. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free, and it's got vitamin B5 to help moisturize and nourish skin. It says to apply it with a brush. I applied it with a sponge. It also says you can wear it as a moisturizer or as a full coverage foundation, depending on your needs. Now, I used it as if it were my full coverage foundation. I did my normal glam like I always do with this product. I feel like once I put the powder on, I was like, oh, I think I just kind of ruined that. Do you know what I mean? Like there's foundations where I'm like this, this foundation looks way better with a powder. And then there's foundations where I'm like that powder did not do its it didn't do it justice. So I think for this specific product today, I am wearing it as a full glam foundation, but I actually think I preferred the way it looked on the skin better when I had just put it on before I powdered. So there's the intro. Let's go ahead and get into the actual like demo and then we'll do the wear test. So I'm gonna take the bubble tea primer from Lottie London. I like to take two pumps of that. That stuff is so nice and hydrating. I absolutely love it. Then I take the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. I just do a pump and I keep this on the top half of my face. So I put it underneath my eyes and then all along my forehead and it literally gives you the prettiest glow. It's so gorgeous. The only reason I don't take it all over my face is because I have a lot of places for things to sit on the bottom of my face, like fine lines and jowls. And I don't want anything extra down there, but as far as up here, it's just like so pretty and it gives like the prettiest glow. It's so beautiful. So I got the color 370N. I'm really hoping this is the right color. I did just freshly self tan. So I think I should be okay. I did find that the coloring was a little bit difficult when I was in store. There was like huge jump from certain colors. So hopefully this works. This is a neutral. It says uh, medium with neutral olive undertones. So it seems to be quite it's like a little bit of a thicker formula, but it's 
It doesn't feel like the thickness that's like hard to like maneuver. It's quite thin once you actually put it on. I think this color is going to be okay actually. You got up Oni, congratulations. Actually really beautiful on the skin. It's looking really skin like. It kind of smells like sunscreen just a little bit. It's got tremella mushroom and a hyaluronic acid in it. And it just makes the skin look really, really pretty. I'm just interested to see like how long it's gonna last on my skin. Cause usually anything that says hydrating ends up looking absolutely terrible on me like six hours in. So this color is perfect for me blending down into my body. My face on my, or my self channel, my face never lasts. It's like literally a couple days and then it's gone. Yeah, this color is actually really, really pretty. For concealer, I'm just gonna do the same that I usually do, which is my milk. The skin is looking so pretty. Honestly, it looks so healthy. It actually looks better than it does when I wear the Valentino, like right at first, but the skin just looks hydrated. It looks healthy. It's covered what I need to cover, but it's not too much. This is the Hourglass in the color cream. Yeah, everything's blending out super nicely. Gosh, the skin just looks so good, you guys. Okay, guys, so I've put my all of my makeup on, um, like my I, how I normally do it, like all the same stuff. Um, everything looks really nice. I will say I actually think I liked the makeup before I powdered. Normally when I powder with my Valentino, like that's what like finishes it off and makes it look really, really good. And I almost feel like the, the foundation looked better before I powdered. So I feel like this might be one of those where it's like a very lightweight makeup type of makeup. It's not necessarily like a full glam makeup. I think you definitely can. Like my makeup looks nice, but it doesn't look as nice as it does when I have my Valentino on. So I would say for me, I would definitely try this out again, but on my like natural makeup days. Do you know what I mean? Like the full glam, I don't know. It's just like, as soon as I put the powders on, it just didn't sit as nicely as it does when I have my Valentino with my powders. Um, and that could be because it's a slightly thicker formula. I feel like the thinner the formulas, the better it looks with powder. So it is 11.50 at the moment. I've been distracted. I've been filming all sorts of other videos. So I started putting my makeup on at 9.30. So at this point it's been on for 10.30. It's been on for like two hours, but this is basically the finished result because I've been like filming in between. So it took me kind of a long time. I'll come back and I'll check in like halfway through the day and then I'll check in at the end of the day. So there it is. It just isn't quite as nice as my Valentino, but Valentino is like 60 something dollars. Do you know what I mean? It does look beautiful. Like I have my full glam on and it still looks really pretty. So I'll come back later. We'll check in, see how it's wearing. As of right now, I do have a nice glow coming through. Um, it is a hydrating foundation. So we'll see how it wears with my oily skin. 427. My makeup has been on for seven hours at this point. You guys, it is holding up so well. I'm actually so impressed. Like I did not have high hopes for this foundation because it's hydrating. And I just feel like anytime any anything says hydrating, it's just like an absolute disaster on my face. And it hasn't like collected. It hasn't budged. It hasn't like gathered or like discombobulated or done anything. It literally looks so good. There's a little bit of shine, but it's more of a glow. It's not necessarily like grease. However, my pores do look a little bit bigger than usual. Um, that would be my only complaint, but seven hours in it's looking really really good So I'll see you guys tonight for the final check-in. Okay guys. It is what time is it, babe? 10:46 uh, p.m. 10:46 p.m. My makeup has been on for um, 13 hours We just got done watching Aquaman so that we can go and watch Aquaman 2 tomorrow and be all caught up This is a full over 12 hour test of the foundation um, obviously I'm definitely oily, but I have not touched my face at all today. I haven't blotted it. I haven't patted it with napkins. I haven't done anything. I do have a little bit of foundation where I scratched my head and wiped it off, but it has not collected anywhere. It just looks oily, but it has not collected in any spots. It's actually held up so well. I'm so impressed. 
like for a hydrating foundation i thought for sure it was gonna look terrible and it actually for 13 hours of me not blotting or touching my face like obviously i look really greasy but it hasn't collected anywhere it hasn't gone dry or crepey or like thick or collected or anything it looks great